This is the Oasis News Organization. Oh no! Welcome, Onos, to the Oasis. Today's report is about solar power and how much I don't know about it, and maybe you're in the same boat. You do a little research and you go, <laughs> how many rat holes are you going to go down? Make it easy. Keep it simple, stupid. Buy a kit. So that's what I did. I bought a Renogy, uh 200 watt starter kit, which came with 200 watt panels, cable, brackets, and a charge controller. It did everything it was supposed to. No problem. Except with the, the guy who put it together. And it cost uh, $350. Alright, so I bought my kit. And got batteries and I leaned those solar panels up against that tree facing the east and <clears throat> did all right of course the sun I mean not the sun the earth rotates and uh, solar panels need sunlight and in the afternoon they weren't getting any sunlight so I was going to have to come up with plan number two now, plan number two is I had seen these things called solar trackers. All right, I'm not going to buy one, but let's see if I can make one. And when you're on the off grid, you look around your place and go, what do I have that I can put together to accomplish my goal? So I find this wagon, find this old uh, storage shelf that I picked up junking off the streets of Dallas and I started tying the uh, bookshelf onto the wagon make everything good strong and sturdy and I have finally figured out how to tie a square knot so everything's good you see I've got a, an angle on there and I'm thinking getting close and sure enough I am now I can move that wagon around and I start off in the east then about noon I'll move it a little bit and then about oh three four o'clock I'll move it again and I have plenty of sunlight but the tree line kept putting a little bit of shade like like this right here this is probably about five o'clock in the afternoon and that dog don't hunt what's the answer <gasps> hey knucklehead you get yourself a hundred feet of cable cost seventy five dollars you stick your solar panels out there in the middle of sunlight where the trees don't ever touch them or shade and you got power all day long, move them three times, and everything's cool. I know that all of this seems simple to you, but when you're on the off-grid and you're by yourself, these little moments, these little goals that you reach, you just, you're just full of pride. And that's part of that's part of being out there. Part of what I enjoy. All right. On to the rest of the solar power. Batteries. I got four 30 amp hour $60 batteries from Walmart. And I wired them in parallel. Positive, 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 negative, 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 negative so on and so on and it took me forever to remember what series meant and what parallel meant in fact I just did a voiceover before this one 
and I said the wrong thing. I said series instead of parallel. I'm still out there in the ozone. And so I got them wired up that way, the, the right way. And that is a old coffee metal coffee table that I put a piece of plywood down to hold the uh, batteries. And then I had another piece of plywood put over on top of them. And, you know, they take some maintenance, which wasn't good. So the next ones I buy, I'll buy the uh, AGM sealed type. On to the inside. Boy, you know, I'm getting close. I've got the uh, charge controller screwed in there. I've got the inverter set on a ottoman that I picked up junking on the streets of Dallas, which gave me some more storage room. And, you know, the chargers, it's, it's working like it's supposed to. I pulled the table out and got all my little junk on there. I'm going, you know what? I am, I know what I'm doing. I pushed the table back in there and I sat back and I watched the video and everything was cool, dude. Do you see the problem? I'm going to show you the problem. It's underneath the table. So if you want to get to the controller or the inverter, you got to crawl under the damn table, knucklehead. Every solar rig I ever saw, both of those components were on a shelf, a table, somewhere where you could get to it. So that's the second worst place you can put it. The worst place would be to put it eight feet high up by the ceiling. And, you know, you would think that after four years, I would have gotten around to moving them, but uh, I haven't. Now, in my poor defense, the reason I put them that low was because there was only eight feet of cable that Renergy sent. And why they didn't send red ones and black ones, I don't know. So I labeled them red and black. And the batteries were already in place, so I, I just went with it. And I've never got longer cables or raised the batteries up higher so that the two components could be sitting on my table. That's how it works down here on the off grid. So we've been talking electricity. I'm going to dedicate today's report to the band ELO, which stands for Electric Light Orchestra. They covered a song by Chuck Berry, Roll Over Beethoven. Big hit for both of them and for the Beatles. I picked out a lyric to tell you from ELO's second album. You know, she wiggle like a glowworm, dance like a spinning top. She got a crazy partner, you ought to see them reel and rock. Long as she got down, the music will never stop. Roll over Beethoven and tell Tchaikovsky the news. Well, here's some news for y'all. You're looking at an authentic concert tour t-shirt worn by the crew. ELO Tour 1976 was an unknown band, Whittlemaker. And how did I get this t-shirt? I earned it. You're looking at an authentic road. And I'm surprised I'm still alive. I do thank you for watching the entire video. Remember, Onos, world peace begins at home.